Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. In today's video, I'll be using Paper Rose Studios Nomi Hugs Collection. I wanted to make sure I have enough Valentine's Day cards for the residents at a nearby retirement home, so I pulled out Paper Rose Studios Nomi Hugs Collection. I have the 6x6 paper size, but it's also available in 12x12. There are 18 double-sided pattern papers, three each of 12 designs. And I'll go through these quickly so you can get an idea of what's included. There are a couple of sheets that have cut aparts. This one has some fun borders. There are several tone on tone designs. This sheet has a bunch of small square cut apart images and sentiments. The little gnome images are absolutely adorable. I love this sheet with the gnome sitting inside a mug. We have a lovely blue wood grain. And this sheet has lots of the sweet little gnome images, and you could fussy cut those out. And now we're back to repeating. I love having three of each design in the collection. Along with the 6x6 paper collection, I also have the coordinating die cut pack. It includes four A5 sheets of pop out die cuts. No fussy cutting required. The images and sentiments easily pop out since they're just attached by some small tabs. And I like to use a pair of scissors and trim off that tab later just for a cleaner look. You can see the small white tab at the bottom of the mug and that's really easy to trim off with a pair of scissors. If you are interested in the Nomi Hugs collection, I do have links in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get started with card design number one. I will be using card sketches for inspiration. The first sketch is from Sugar Pea Designs. This is Sugar Sketch number 23. And if you are interested in any of the sketches I use in this video, I share all of that information on my coordinating blog post. The link is in the description box below, or you can simply head over to christymarcott.com. For the background paper, I selected the adorable design that has the gnome sitting inside a mug and lots of tiny little hearts all over. I'm layering it on some red cardstock. And I did list the colored cardstock brands and names on my blog. For the strip that goes across the card using the tone on tone pinkish red stripe paper, layered it on the same red cardstock. I'll add a stitch circle die cut, and I did use some white shimmer cardstock for the circle. Put my card front onto a card base, leaving eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. All of my cards in this video are American Standard A2 size, four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. I'm adding a couple of the gnome die cut pieces, and I did pop them up using some thin foam dimension. I'll put the girl holding the heart balloon on the left and the boy holding the love sign on the right. I'm also adding a small heart and I'll pop that up with foam dimension and adhere it between the two gnomes. I'll add two small banners in the upper right hand corner. I cut these out from two different shades of red cardstock. They look the same in the video but they are slightly different. First cut a fishtail on the bottom. I'll adhere the larger banner down first. Then I'll add a small scrap piece of cardstock on the left side of the banner before adhering the smaller banner. And that'll help it stay nice and level. On the card sketch, the banners are on the left hand side, but I'm adding them on the right hand side. I felt it balanced out the card more with the banners on the right side since the large balloon that the girl gnome is holding is on the left. For embellishments, I'm adding a couple of heart gems on the banners in the upper right hand corner. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this design. All of the cards will be slightly different since I only have the one pack of die cuts. For card design number two, the card sketch is from MFT. This is number 679. 
For the background of my card, I'm using the blue wood grain pattern paper, layering it on some teal cardstock. I'll put ATG tape on the back, add my card front onto a card base, leaving eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. For the wider strip at the bottom of the card, using more of the teal card stock, just adhere that in place with some glue. Now I'll add several of the die cut pieces. I have a little girl gnome, and I did pop up the gnome and the sentiment with foam dimension. I'm adding the sentiment Happy Valentine's Day on the right side, so this is in place of the little banner that's above that wider strip on the sketch. I'm also adding the little flag bunting in the upper right hand corner. I'll put glue on the back to adhere it in place. And the final die cut piece has three red hearts. I'll adhere that above the gnome more on the right side. For embellishments, I'm adding some lovely red pearls. These are from Pretty Pink Posh. It's the cherry red color. I'll put three above the gnome on the left hand side and two on the right hand side of the gnome underneath the sentiment. There are three different sizes of pearls in this mix. So I'm digging around in my container to find the variety of sizes. I'll use an embellishment wand to pick up the pearls, add a small drop of Barely Art glue, then press them in place. I kept changing my mind on the placement of the pearls above the gnome on the left hand side. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this design. The cards are very similar, I just changed the die cut pieces. Now moving on to card design number three. The card sketch is from Sketch Saturday, this is number 724. For the background of my card, using the adorable paper with lots of gnome images and hearts. For the wide strip that goes across the card, have this blue paper with the sentiment love. I'll layer that piece on some of the teal cardstock. Layer the background piece on red cardstock. Put ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base, leaving eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. I'll put adhesive on the back of the love strip. And I noticed the pattern paper was cut just a little bit longer than the cardstock panel. So I did use my scissors to trim that little sliver off. Then I'll adhere that strip toward the bottom of the card. I'll be adding four of the cut aparts, a girl gnome, a boy gnome, some heart balloons, and also the sentiment love. Now on the card sketch, it indicates to put five small squares, but I didn't want to cut off any of the images, so I'm only adding four squares at the bottom. And I did cut them down just a little bit smaller than the actual cut apart. I cut them all down to about one and three eighths of an inch, and the actual cut apart would be about one and a half inches. I put foam dimension on the back of all four cut aparts. Use scrapbook.com's one millimeter foam. Now I'll adhere the four cut aparts on the blue panel. And I am placing them at a slight angle and overlapping each square as I adhere them down. I'll put the balloons on the very right hand side, the two gnomes in the middle, and the sentiment love on the left hand side. And I did need to pull off some of the foam behind the sentiment in order for it to sit on top of the girl gnome square. Next I'll add a bow die cut. This is from Paper Rose's Tiny Bow Die Set. I cut out the two pieces from some teal cardstock, put a tiny bit of glue in the center of the bow and add that little tie piece. And I did pop it up with some foam dimension. I'll remove the release paper and adhere it above the love and the little girl gnome cut apart. Using some red cardstock, I'll cut a small banner. Start with the fish tail, then cut the one side in slightly at an angle, flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Then I'll put glue on the back and adhere it in the upper right hand corner. For embellishments, I'm using some clear crystals from Paper Rose. I have the larger size and I think the second to the smallest size. I'll add them on the banner in the upper right hand corner. 
So there is my finished card, and I did make two using this design. The second card features the same pattern paper. I just used four different cut apart images and sentiments. For card design number four, the card sketch is from Cards TV. This is sketch number 30. I selected three pattern papers. For the very background, it has the sentiment love all over it. I'll layer that piece on some dark blue cardstock. For the two inch strip on the left side, using the white and dark blue watercolor design, also layer that on some dark blue cardstock. For the very background of my card, using some white shimmer cardstock, so it'll add just that little extra detail. I'll first add the love panel on the white shimmer cardstock, add my card front onto a card base. Next, I'll add the narrow strip that goes across the card. This is the tone on tone pinkish red pattern paper with stripes. I'll adhere that piece down and then the watercolor panel on the left hand side. Now I'll bring in some of the die cut images and sentiment. I'm adding happy birthday. And for images, I have a polka dot heart, foliage piece, and a blue feather. I put foam dimension on the back of the sentiment and I'll lay out all the die cut pieces in the position I want, adhere the sentiment on top. Before adhering it to the card, I'll put a scrap piece of pattern paper on the back side, just in the area where it goes off of that watercolor panel. And that'll help it stay nice and level. Although once I attached it, I realized the very right side of the sentiment was drooping down. I have foam on the back of the sentiment, but I didn't add any scrap pieces. So I'm cutting some small pieces of pattern paper and tucking it underneath the A and Y of birthday. And I did end up putting two small scrap pieces to keep it nice and level. Using a small piece of the dark blue cardstock, I'll cut a small banner and adhere it in the upper left hand corner on that watercolor panel. Put glue on the back and adhere it in place. For embellishments, I'm adding more of Paper Rose's clear crystals. I'll put two on the banner in the upper left hand corner and three in the lower right hand corner around the sentiment. And I do want to mention the crystals come in a little zippered pouch, not this small container. But if you are looking for some small boxes to hold embellishments, I do have a link in the description box. So there is my finished card, and I did make two using this design. For card design number five, I won't be using a card sketch. I selected three pattern papers for the card. The background features beautiful flowers. I think they're roses. Across the card, I'm adding a one and a half inch strip of the pattern paper with the sentiment love. Toward the bottom of that piece, I'm adding this fun heart border, and this is a cut apart from the paper pad. I didn't get that strip down straight. Luckily, I was able to peel it up. Now I'll layer this piece on some red cardstock, put ATG tape on the back, and add my card front onto a card base. For this card, I'll be using some of the image and sentiment die cuts and also a few other dies from Paper Rose. I'm using their dainty foliage die set and also Scribble Hearts set number two. I cut out the two hearts from the same red cardstock I use for the background layer. And I'll glue both of them on the card, starting with the larger heart on the very left hand side. I'll glue that down directly. Then I'll add the smaller heart overlapping on the right side. This is a fun die set, perfect for love or Valentine's Day cards. I haven't used it in a while, so it was fun to pull out and it worked perfectly on this card. I'm adding two different mugs. The larger one has the sentiment love and the smaller has a red heart. I did put foam dimension behind both of the mug images. For the foliage pieces, I cut them out of vellum. I'll be tucking in the foliage pieces behind the mugs. Before attaching the mugs, I'll first lay out the foliage pieces. I'm putting three behind the larger mug and two behind the smaller mug. 
I'll remove the release paper on the foam behind the smaller mug and attach it to the two vellum foliage pieces. For the larger mug, I'm placing the foliage pieces on my craft table, adhering them on the back side. Once I'm happy with the placement, I'll put a little bit of glue on the back side since those foliage pieces are covering up some of the foam. I want to make sure there's enough adhesive so they don't fall off later. Then I'll add both of the mugs inside the two hearts. For our sentiment, I'm adding I love you and I did pop it up with some foam dimension. Before adhering the sentiment down, I'll first add a small banner in the upper right hand corner. Cutting it the same way I've been doing with previous cards, I call it my whimsical banner. I'll put glue on the back and adhere it in the upper right hand corner. Then I'll add the sentiment on the right side of the hearts, just above the pattern paper strip with the word love. For a final finishing touch, I'll add some of the clear crystals from Paper Rose. Put two on the banner in the upper right hand corner and three in the lower left hand corner. I was digging through the crystals trying to find a variety of sizes. I've had this mix for probably a couple years now and I still have quite a few left. Although I think I've used up all of the second to the largest size. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this design. Now moving on to card design number six. And this is one of my favorite cards. I love this heart pattern paper I'm using for the background. Lots of fun, whimsical looking hearts. Toward the bottom of the card, I'm adding the pinkish red stripe paper. And at the bottom of that piece, I'm adding another one of the border cut aparts. This one features lots of the sweet little gnomes. I layered that strip on some red cardstock. I'll layer the background piece on the same red cardstock, put ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base. Now I'll add the panel with the gnomes and the stripes. And I'm putting it about three fourths of an inch from the bottom. I have two of the die cut pieces, a heart with white stitching around it and the sentiment Happy Valentine's Day. I did put foam dimension on the back of both of those. I'll add the heart down first on the left hand side. Then I'll add the sentiment on the right hand side. And I did leave off foam behind the letter H. That way it could sit on top of the heart. Using some of the red card stock, I'll cut a small banner and adhere it in the upper right hand corner. Then to finish off the card, I'll use more of the clear crystals. I'll put two on the banner in the upper right hand corner and three around the heart on the left hand side. And I am putting one crystal on the left side of the heart. I think it adds a fun extra detail. Since most of the cards will be going to the residents at a local retirement home, I don't have to worry about keeping the cards flat since I won't be mailing them. I always enjoy being able to use bling and foam dimension on my cards. And I know for many people around the world, extra dimension doesn't make a difference when you're mailing the cards, but in my area it does. So I always try to keep some cards on hand that are nice and flat and don't require additional postage. For card design number seven, the card sketch is from MFT. This is number 494. I had one more sheet of the fun whimsical heart pattern paper. So I'm using that for the background. For the wide panel going across the card using some of the blue wood grain paper. I'll layer the background on some red card stock. Put ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base. Next I'll add a stitched oval die cut and I use some white shimmer card stock. Now I'll bring in several of the die cut pieces. I have two gnomes holding the sentiment love two small hearts that will go above the gnomes and the sentiment happy valentine's day and i did pop up all of the die cut pieces using some thin foam dimension i'll put the sentiment at the bottom of the oval the two gnomes will go above the sentiment then i'll add the two red hearts above the gnomes 
Using a small scrap piece of red cardstock, I'll cut a banner and adhere it in the upper left hand corner. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this design. For the second card, I used some of the rose pattern paper for the background, added the sentiment love, I have two more gnomes and two small hearts above the gnomes. Now moving on to card design number eight, and this is my final card design. At this point in the video, I don't have any full sheets of pattern paper, but I do have several of these two inch strips. So I thought I would combine them and make it look like it's a full sheet. I'm using the feather pattern paper, layering it on some teal card stock. I do have a gap between the two pieces, but that will be covered up. I'll put ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base, leaving eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. To cover up the gap between the two feather pattern paper pieces, I'm adding another strip of pattern paper. This is the same feather pattern paper, but I'm using the opposite side, which has the blue wood grain paper. I'll put adhesive on the back and adhere it more on the left side. I'm putting it far enough to the right to cover up that little gap. Using Paper Rose's Stitch Circle die set, I'm adding two circles. The smaller white circle, I use some white shimmer cardstock, and the larger circle, I use more of the teal cardstock. I'll glue the two circles together and adhere it on the left side of the card. Now I'll add a girl and boy gnome, and also a heart with the sentiment love and I did pop up all of the die cut images. Using a scrap piece of the teal card stock, I'll cut a small banner and adhere it in the upper right hand corner. This is the same style banner I've been using throughout the video. Sometimes I make them a little wider, other times a little taller. Just depends on how much space I have in the corner. For embellishments, I'll add more of Paper Rose's clear crystals put two on the banner in the upper right hand corner and three on the left hand side underneath the girl gnome. So there is my finished card and this time I made a total of three although all of the cards are slightly different. I really wanted to use up all the wider strips of pattern paper so I made two vertical cards and one horizontal cards and that took care of the last of those larger pattern paper strips. After making 17 cards, this is what I have left over from the Nomi Hugs collection. Just some small pieces of the pattern paper and a small amount of the die cut images and sentiments. Now here's another look at the 17 cards I made using Paper Rose Studios Nomi Hugs collection. I use the 6x6 paper size with the coordinating die cut pack. The paper is also available in the 12x12 size. So if you prefer the larger paper, that is an option. If you are interested in any of the products I used in this video, I do have links in the description box below. Paper Rose is located in Australia and they do ship their products internationally but you can also purchase them here in the US and I have links for both locations listed below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.